guess you all remember this little monstrosity. <clears throat> I decided to uh, mount a uh, quarter horsepower electric motor underneath that thing. I pulled that off a piece of equipment over here that, uh, well, I don't have any other use for it other than that. The more I got to thinking about this deal, as much racket as it makes, um, I'll try to do uh, make this a video response to that original one. Yeah, where I showed that thing right after I made it. Here it is, uh, December the fifteenth. Yep, twenty thirteen. Almost a year after I made that thing. Still haven't used it yet. But, um, thought I'd get rid of that drill probably end up burning the thing up anyway and that's the last thing I want is a failure in the middle of trying to extract honey I know this year I'll end up using it surely uh, that's the way I had it and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount that motor underneath the bottom um, sort of like a, a clothes washing machine that way nothing is on top in the way but here it is running its last time this way. Um, turns a little too fast. That's a thousand RPM drill, and I don't need a thousand RPMs. I've read what, like a hundred RPMs or so extract honey fine. Well, I got a a six inch pulley. Comes out to be one and six. So if that's seventeen hundred and twenty five RPMs, the shaft on that, my math says that should be two hundred and eighty seven and a half. I ain't no engineer. Uh, don't design gears and whatever. So, it's, uh, well, if I'm even remotely close, it's got to be turning slower than that. And it would certainly be slower than that and more variable than that with this. I could show y'all this thing running with this, uh, this, uh, this uh, router speed control attached, but I've already tested it. This this baby runs smooth as silk um, with the router speed control I can plug it in here and yeah that's just as smooth so Yeah, that should be interesting. I'll uh, I'll do another little clip on this thing after I get all of that tore out, and I don't know. I don't guess it's any purpose in uh, in doing another clip until I get the um, the motor mounted in the bottom. I got a new half inch threaded rod because I got that and cuts it short. I want to go down through the bottom. Uh, through a block that sealed off with wax so the honey you could picture the honey running around that block rather than going out the bottom and the pulley under the bottom the motor mounted off to the side with a little belt going over to that you see main shaft going down through there Surely the viewer gets the idea. All right, let's see what I can tear up. Show y'all one little tidbit on this thing while I'm trying to rig this freaking pulley up on oh, here. Yeah. Anyway, we're 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 at this point anyhow. So 
Yeah. That was my plan. Anyway, took a little um a little rigging. You notice the floor of this thing is of course slanted that way. The honey will run out. That's got a rabbit in a, a rabbit joint in there. Yeah, not a rabbit. <laughs> that would have took some doing. Yeah, anyway, <clears throat> that's got a rabbit joint in there where the floor fits up in there, so you got a, a deal like that. That would just further prevent leakage, but I don't see how it would ever a drop of honey would ever come down through any of that because it is sealed with wax, beeswax. I took um I'll get to that in a minute. I took uh a pot of wax, kept it hot, and took a rag and rubbed down the inside. Made sure the whole inside was coated good, and then took the hive tool and scraped it down when I did that. So it's got a, it's, uh, it's got a pretty thick coat of wax on it. So that goes underneath, actually, since I got it laying on its side. There is no way you can get in there and see that. I wonder if a flashlight would make that work. If I can get a hold of that thing. See the odd spider whip. Yeah, see that's that bar that runs across. That supports the some of the weight of the spinner. Well, so I rigged this little deal up. This will... i got to take this to the house and uh, dip it in beeswax and get a good coat on the bottom so that when I screw it to the floor, that slides up under that bar and that the shaft on the spinner goes down through here. Well, when I wedge that under there and screw it down. I want a coat of wax to where it'll kind of bulge out the sides, you know, and seal it to the floor. Got to cut the triangle shape because the honey will be running in this direction. The honey will run like this here and around. So it would never leak. Of course you're not going to have an inch depth of honey with it freely flowing out the front ever. You might have a quarter inch. You know, the, level might rise up to there just just very very temporarily so that'll prevent it from leaking out the bottom or the drive shaft I guess you'd call it is now what we got to do is we got to rig us up a little a little deal put some two by four braces in between these two by two legs I think I'm going all the way around the bottom with a two by four brace before I get into mounting the motor because I've noticed you know a little bit of wobble in the legs and that's not good particularly here because I got a little weak point see I rabbited all of that all of that actually fits inside of the leg and then of course this fits inside the leg yeah so that's a that's a weak point if you were to drop it or bump it, you know, against the against the ground or something, or it were to get into a big wobble, first thing you'd have is a, um, a split right up through there, and the leg would come off of it. So we're gonna fix that problem while we're fixing this too. All right, enough ratchet jawing. I'll show this thing to y'all probably tomorrow when it's running somewhere along in there. All right, peoples, is let me show you a little something. I'm surprised I got it done this quick. Shoot. Anyway, um, this is what we got. That's a lot cleaner looking on the top, isn't it? Let's see. If you get under here, there's my quarter horsepower motor. Alright, I hit the wrong button on the camera, sorry. 
anyhow yeah there's that six inch pulley so that's 1725 rpms there that should drop it back to 288 rpms there now that block I was telling y'all about there ain't a chance in a million yeah it is too look in there right there that's sealed with bees wax around the bottom and the top the drive shaft goes down through that and then you come into that pulley there okay so now <clears throat> that cleans the top end of this thing up and it is a whole lot more quiet let me show you what I mean Just sitting there coasting. That is so much better. See, I got full control over the low speed. That's amazing. of course 288 rpms right so that's wide open if i had the legs leveled up it wouldn't even be wobbling according to everybody i've talked to that's fast enough to extract honey right there that's wide open see i could flip this that's all it's got there. And it's uh, relatively quiet if you compare that to that drill. <laughs> that drill made a load of racket.
sawdust out of it with the air compressor and take it back to the house. We'll see how she does later.